studied psychology at university and then I did a postgraduate in hypnotherapy. I think the hypnotherapy might add something in the den. We shall see. <laughs> Hi, Dragons. I'm Ben, and I'm the founder and managing director of Fridger, a company that wholesales, imports, and retails innovative home appliances. I'm looking for £70,000 for a 10% share equity of my company. In 2010, I brought to the market the Fridger F1000 Professional Garment Steamer. a clothes steamer that was designed to look as good as your clothes. My goal was to put clothes steamers in homes across the UK. You just go over the clothes and all the creases fall out. To date, we've sold 20,000 units. In 2013, I also noticed another gap in the market, cold pressed juicers. They're a real buzz item around the kitchen but they were very expensive, and I found a way to be able to bring them to market for about half the price that everybody else could. I welcome any questions. You might, you might want to turn that off before you run out of steam. <laughs> Clothes steamers with added style are the primary offering from Londoner Ben Fridger. Ben won £70,000 in exchange for a 10% stake in his company. But will the dragons be susceptible to his powers of persuasion? Ben. This is interesting, Ben. I know nothing about this. Why would you have a steamer over a steam iron? OK, so a steam iron has got a heated plate, right? And a closed steamer doesn't. So if you've got a really, like, nice jacket or a really nice dress, if you put a heated plate on it, it goes shiny. And the same thing with your suits, right? If they go shiny, then all of a sudden they look horrible. I'm not sure if you girls have ever used the clothes I've steamer. I've got four of these. There and we I go. find them incredible. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. It's incredibly satisfying. You don't have to sell me on it. I just so you know, I know exactly where you're coming from. <laughs> Can I please try it? Yeah, please. I have no... Of course. I've only ever seen it done. Now, this is a silk dress, so it's really difficult to iron. And just go from, like, the middle. You can touch the material, it's OK. Oh, can I? Yeah, 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 go wild. Oh, my God, this is so exciting. You can see the difference between that and that. Oh, my God, have you got more clothes? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like ironing, but I could take it up. The market trader's son is working his well-honed sales patter to the max. But will online greetings card pioneer and angel investor Nick Jenkins buy it? You have what I think is a phenomenal product. Why bother with the other product when there's so much potential still left to go? Is that not just confusing? I was out in China, I was doing like another order for this and thought, right, I'll take a punt on this. Now, you could say, I've sold them one thing, so why not sell them another thing? Mm. Or Ah, uh. or you could look at it from another way and say, I'm going to spend a lot of my time developing this brand and getting awareness of this brand, for which you need focus. I just think it would be a little bit confusing if you're standing on a stand and you're pressing some juice and then you go to the juice and then you go for the... So, so I, I keep wonder... Keep the brand separate. I wonder... Well, keep the brand separate, but I wonder whether or not you pick the, the product where you've got some traction. And, and I think you've got some traction with this. Ben's gained another convert to the clothes steamer cause. And Peter Jones appears intent on bagging himself a bargain. Would I get a discount if I bought one today? Are you going to buy 10% of the company? Well, Ben, I think you've done incredibly well. But I think I'm worried about where the next product is going to come from. Now, the thing is, we have another product coming out in a couple of weeks, uh, which I'm happy to say is 
another juicer, but it's a more cost-effective one, which I'm looking... But, Ben, that's my point, is the fact that you could go to China and pick a load of products. You, you know, I've got an innovation centre in China with, with hundreds of different products, but I could do that myself. I'm not seeing what the real longevity is, and I think you need a lot of work. Um, so I'm not going to invest on... And, and, and that's the only reason why I'm not going to invest and say that I'm out. Concern over Ben's inability to innovate with a product that anyone can take to market has proved a game-changer for Peter Jones. High Street fashion retailer Tuka Suleiman is next to turn up the heat. Ben. Yes. Tuka. Nice to meet you. Yes, I own a brand called Ghost. Yes, I know. And, and we recommend that all of our dresses are steamed. So I do see the market. Um, if I sent one of those to my young man in China, and I said, go and find me the town where they make steamers. Within two weeks, I'm in the steaming business. You're right, it's not the most patentable a product, but neither are GHDs. So therefore, you've got to have a market leader. You Google garment steamers, and we're all over it. This is a brand that I've been building for five years. Hold on, you said if somebody Googles steamers, you were up there? Yes, you're right. But up there where? We're either at the end of the first page or the top of the second page. You want to be top of the first page? Yeah. Ben, you need to think bigger, a lot bigger. And I think you can turn this into a bigger brand than you're thinking about right now. I, I completely agree. From street market to stock market, it's looking good for Ben as the dragon with a lucrative track record in online brand building hints at a deal. Is Sarah Williams also primed to invest? Ben, I have gone through an amazing education process here and I am completely sold on getting a steamer for home because I think it's going to revolutionise my Friday nights. Um, I'm afraid for me, it's not a business that, that I want to invest in. You know, half of my mates don't even have an iron. I think it's such an education piece, if I'm being honest. So I'm afraid I'm out. Thanks. Tell us dragons what you want from us. I see a few really key retailers, which it's not in at the moment. We are in certain places, but there's Which are? Room. What's your dream retailer? Oh, John Lewis. OK. 100%. I can open a door for you, though. Ben. Yes. The world is changing, OK? And in the days of, the days of old, you would you'd set up your meetings and you go and you, you sell to retailers. That's one way. I don't have that many contacts. That didn't stop me getting five million customers through my doors. What I'm very, very good at is generating demand. And, and to be honest, the best way is to have a direct relationship with your customers. Now, you've barely mentioned the importance of social media, Instagram, and all the other things that, that are going to turn this into, into a must-have product. I think you need a lot of help with that. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money but for 20%, not 10%. I'll tell you why 20%, because I think I can really help you develop the brand on this and develop awareness of this, and I've done that before. And that is what is going to pull this thing off the shelves. Ben, I love your energy. You remind me a bit of myself. I believe I'm the dragon who has the infrastructure, who has the contacts to let the business grow. So I'm going to make you an offer. I will give you £100,000 for 30%. But I will save you a lot of money along the way. The dragon with global fashion form is in. 
He's offering an extra £30,000, but for that he wants 30% of Ben's business. Last to show her hand is Deborah Meaden. Um, I think the bit you are resisting at the moment, you shouldn't be resisting. Your whole social media piece, mm. it's going to become so much more important. There is another dragon here who I think could add to that top piece. The bit I would bring is contacts. I can do the retail end of those contacts. I can't make them buy it, but let's get you in to get the meetings. So I'm going to make you an offer for half of the money. I want 12.5% of the business. I would only go in if the other dragon was on equal terms in any event. There you are. There's my offer. Um, I think you have the makings of a dream team going on here. Mm. And I think that there's a lot that you can do to generate demand for this product. And I think I can help you with that. And I think I'm going to change my offer. And I'm going to offer you half the money for 12.5%. An alliance has formed between Nick Jenkins and Deborah Meaden, who are fighting Tuka Suleiman for the deal. How will this psychology graduate analyse their plan? Off the bat, 25% for 70 grand values the company 280. I value you and I also value the company. And the company's not worth 280,000 pounds. Oh, absolutely right. If we were just going to put our money into that, yeah. absolutely. That's not what we're offering. Right. You're thinking small. No, really no, small. You're right. You're right. Right. And would you rather have 75% of something that's going to be big and our experience of creating millions of customers? It's a tough call. For 30% of his business, Ben gets £100,000 from High Street fashion retailer Tuka Suleiman. For 25%, he gets less cash but double the dragons in Deborah Meaden and Nick Jenkins. I really appreciate the offer, I really do, but I'm going to go with you too. Yes! yes. I, I have some fantastic really ideas for this. Fantastic. I am so oh. excited, Ben. I think you're... Some might say a controversial decision from Ben, who has opted to decline the industry insider for the combined power of two dragons. I, I totally get when people say it's an out-of-body experience because I'm not even really here. Do you get that? <laughs> I think that Nick is clear that he is able to go out and really engage with customers. And you know that Deborah's Blackberry contacts are just next level. And I just, I'd love to be in the middle. <laughs> <laughs>